What food do you swear people only pretend to like? The food my nephew makes. It's too salty and it's always made out of play dot. That shit is so hard to stomach. Lol. Oh yeah. Jelly deals. HTTPS. Slash slash www. Yaltube. Com slash watch. V equals 90 TGRN 4 W8 NQ. MMM shit flavored fish wrapped in some nasty gelatinous slime. Eels up inside ya. Yeah. Finding an entrance where they can. Bore in through ya yeah mind. Through your tummy. Through your anus. Eels. If I've learned anything in this thread, it's that I'm clearly uncultured. I've got no idea what 70% of these foods are. Judging by some quick googling, the answer is usually fish. Apostrophe. Specifically weird fermented fish that only Scandinavians eat. Have you heard of fish sauce in Asian cuisine? As a Swede. Surströming. As a human being. Surströming. As a citizen of Earth. Surströming. As a being of the solar system. Surströming. As a three-dimensional creature. Surströming. As a carbon-based life form. Surströming. Lutefisk. I only know this from King of the Hill. It was the man with the terrible smell. King of the Hill where are you from? I'm Laotian. You are from the ocean? Are ya Chinese or Japanese? I originally from Laos, but last 5 years I live in California. Some of the jello salads out there, green jello with carrots, and sometimes raisins, is an abomination. Also, whatever the hell my mom used to make with cottage cheese and orange jello. My family had this weird notion that, if you put healthy stuff in jello, that it was a side dish, and not a dessert. Nope. You just ruin two foods, by making unnatural combinations with them. Mom never did come across a jello recipe that she thought, was a bad idea though. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Edit too, since it's a frequently asked question. I'm not from Utah or the Midwest. Mom and grandma aren't either, they're from Los Angeles. I feel understood here. My grandma once made salmon jello as a refreshing summer dinner. Plain gelatin with chunks of salmon in it. However bad it sounds. It was worse. Anything that's classified as a local delicacy. There's usually a reason it's remained local. And yes. I'm Scandinavian. How do you guess? Edit. All the exceptions you've listed sound disgusting. And your taste does not generalize as well as you think it does. I know this game. It's called let's see what we can get the foreigner to put in his mouth. Apostrophe. Once you start wanting to pop a couple bollocks in the mouth is when I draw the line. That's when I draw the arrow to my mouth. Limburger cheese. It smells and tastes like sweaty feet. My great grandfather used to eat sandwiches made of Limburger cheese and mustard soaked sardines edit. My great grandfather's bizarre taste has turned this into my most upvoted comment ever. Legend. And no one ever spoke to him up close again. Lol. Best pro tip ever. Chitlins. Seriously. It's intestines sorta cleaned and cooked. That's it. My grandmother would make my granddad cook chitlins in the little shed slash outhouse where his tools were. No way was she allowing that smell inside. I'll never forget a Jeffrey Dahmer documentary I watched where they interviewed one of his neighbors. A black woman was talking about the terrible smell coming from his apartment while he was cooking human flesh. And she goes I just thought he was cooking chitlins or something. Apostrophe. So in college. Some of my classmates were tasked with helping our forensic and throw professor de flesh remains using what I can only describe as a low and slow simmer method. More than one passer remarked on how good the soup smelled emanating from the lab. So you used a crock pot? Pretty much exactly that. But CNC. Ever hear of hot lettuce? The shit smells like a tire fire. Edit. I'm floored by the response to this comment. I had no idea this was so foreign to everyone else. Edit 2. I'm disabling in Bark's replies. All three of the things people are asking slash saying have been asked slash said now 20k times. Thanks for joining me on this weird journey of disgust. I just googled hot lettuce. I do not recommend. Thanks Urban Dictionary. Hot lettuce. Via Urban Dictionary. An exquisite sex act requiring a bagged salad from a local market. A woman's accessible anal cavity. And deep. Meaningful desire. First. A man. Any man. Closes his fist around a portion of the salad. 
He then lovingly inserts his fist into the woman's anus for a duration of their joint consent. When the couple is sufficiently aroused, the man releases the salad before removing his hands from the woman's anus. With the salad inside, the two enjoy a standard round of anal sex. The man must ejaculate onto the salad as a dressing. Finally, the act is completed upon receipt of the hot lettuce by the man's mouth, eating the sumptuous morsel from her pooping cavity. This is the kind of recipe I like to read. Straight to the point, and no long ass story about being a busy mom who reminisces about Christmas, or whatever. Growing up, my siblings and I could never get enough of our grandma's hot lettuce. There's absolutely nothing better to warm you up after playing in the snow all day. I have the soap gene for cilantro, so I had my finke try a bit, raw, to tell me what it tasted like. Does it really just taste like grass for people without my curse? I have the soap gene for cilantro, so I had my finke try a bit, raw, to tell me what it tasted like. Does it really just taste like grass for people without my curse? No. Cilantro does not taste like grass, if you don't have the genes that make it taste soapy. Cilantro is parsley's sassier cousin. It's definitely its own flavor. Hard to describe, because there really isn't anything else like it. But it's delicious. I guess parsley would be close. I agree. It's like bitters, bananas, or avocado. The flavor is unique. Incidentally, I love cilantro. So I guess I don't have the gene. But even so, I can understand how someone would think it tastes like soap. There is a hint of that. But to me, it just adds to the drama of cilantro. You can have an upvote for the drama of cilantro. Even if it's coriander. I guess multiple names adds to the drama. Ha. Huh. I did not realize they came from the same plant. And that the leaves are cilantro in North America and coriander elsewhere. Mean we are what we call coriander. Is just coriander seeds elsewhere. In North America. Cilantro refers to the leaves and stalks of the plant. The word cilantro is the Spanish name for coriander leaves. Meanwhile, the dried seeds of the plant are called coriander. Internationally, it's a different story. Coriander is the name for the leaves and stalks of the plant, while the dried seeds are called coriander seeds. Anything I cook slash bake. Don't say that. Chitterlings. The end. Chitterlings. Rumat in collage, would eat cereal with water in between paychecks, then just quit buying milk. Why not just eat it dry? My wife would mix non-dairy creamer with water and use it for milk when we first got married. I mean I guess it's not that much worse than fat-free milk but damn, we weren't that poor. Everybody gonna say oysters, and even though I love oysters I get what they mean. They're the texture of a thick logy. They taste like salt water and algae that's marinated an old piece of discarded bubble gum. But I love them. I love them so much. I love them with horseradish, lemon juice and hot sauces. They're mostly just a vector for those flavors I guess. But I'd never really argue with a person who hates on them. They're objectively correct. I've just eaten so many things at this point. Whacked off my taste buds so much. Made them numb with fire and acid that I've evolved to some twisted realm of flavor where culinary cenobites make me genuinely enjoy some clearly disgusting meal. Yeah I'm with you there. I luo oysters, but completely understand people who dislike them. Jeff Iltfish. I refuse to believe anyone under the age of 80 enjoys this food. It's not normal. Wrong. My mom is 72 years young and loves it. Raw eggs. There's bound to be a better way to cure a hangover. There is literally anything else, like cooked eggs, like fucking water. My dick is very sensitive. Close bracket. Why would having sex with water cure your hangover? Because my dick is very sensitive. Popcorn with ketchup. I don't even want to talk about it. Who does this? Yeah. What the fuck? These are the real gems of threads like this. Oddly specific. Strange and makes one question the cultural slash regional contexts and life events that lead to its coming to being. Ballot. I spent quite some time in the Philippines and I never saw one person actively enjoying the food, but eating it, because cheap and easy to get. Edit. I'm by no means. Bashing the Philippines. Love the culture and its people. Yeah I'll just eat some weird shit. I lived there for a few years. I saw plenty of people enjoying it. 
and some people apologized for serving me regular chicken eggs when I was their guest and absolutely believed I was just being polite when I told them that was my preference. Tried it twice. It's a cross between chicken soup and a hard boiled egg with the partially formed cartilage of a baby duck to chew on for 20 minutes or so. I don't recommend it. I just threw up in my mouth a little. Vomit is a traditional side dish enjoyed with ballot. Funny you mentioned that, because they also have bile soup in the Philippines. They use bile in much of their cooking. This is the opposite, but I'd just like to say, not Brussels sprouts growing up on TV made me think Brussels sprouts was the most horrible thing to exist. But I finally try them. And they are actually so delicious. I grew up with them boiled to death. I thought they were disgusting. Until I learned that I could roast them. Now they are one of my favorite vegetables. Snails. Had them. Nothing thrilling. It's all about the butter and garlic oil. I'd rather have shrimp in that garlic butter. Fermented soybeans natto. I used to share a dorm with some bro types when I was studying abroad in Japan. It was their favorite pastime to eat a bunch of natto. Come into the crowded computer room. Fart massively. And then block the exits. Fucking evil lol. Wow so many people hate everything I love lmao. For every one person that doesn't like something in this thread, there's probably 100. 000 more who do. They're just not commenting on this thread. Fondant. This. Plus. The basic rule is that fondant is used on cakes in lieu of tastier risings, like buttercream, because fondant's main purpose is the decoration. But any cake that's strong enough to hold all of your fondant decoration without falling apart is a cake that's not concerned about being delicious. Most majorly fondant decorated cakes that I've ever had are dry, dense, and lacking in flavor. As far as I'm concerned, if we are supposed to eat your cake, it needs to be delicious. I don't care if it looks like a rocket ship. When Ace of Cakes was super popular on Food Network, all I could think about was how the cakes looked super cool, but must have tasted absolutely horrible. Imagine paying $1,200 for a neat looking cake that's 5 days old and covered in about a pound of flavorless nasty fondant. It's impossible for what they made on that show to be anything but stale and horrible tasting. <laughs>